Okay, we're going to be doing a mail call for Kratos Magnetics. Guess what magnet I got in this box here. If you can't tell, it's pretty strong here because we have packing material inside this box and these screws are having a lot of fun here. Move one, they all move. And it's holding on there real nice and tight. We can do this for hours. That's what you call a nice magnetic field there. The, each one of those screws has their own field right now. So they won't touch. Now if you interrupt something on them, then they'll grab hold of each other. How many can we go? Now it's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, those screws just went up in the air before it let loose. Show you the feel that this thing has. Get these out of the way. I've been having fun sitting here playing around with this thing. Just to show you the amount of feel this magnet has, as I said, this has packing material in here. This is just a simple, normal construction screw. That's pulling and pulling and pulling. Up it a little bit with something heavier. This is a dive knife. If you've ever seen the short that I did, let's see where we found it. But. You see how bad that pulls, even through a cardboard box, a long packet material. This thing pulls pretty hard. And then we'll unopen it here again. Now we'll use a railroad spike. Just to show you how much that can pull through that box. We'll get it swinging. And there she's grabbing it. Don't know if it's going to be strong enough to pick up the box. Nope. But she's pulling pretty hard. You can't even let it swing. You get too close. Just pull it down tight. Okay. Let's open this puppy up. Anybody have a guess on what's in here yet? Which magnet? From Kratos. And in here we got styrofoam, more styrofoam, we got a Kratos hook, more styrofoam, we even have bubble wrap in there. Okay, let me get this puppy out of the box. We also have Kratos stickers. Doo -doo. Okay, let's play around the box now without the packing material of what was on top of it. We will use the dive knife first. Now you gotta figure this too, that's the top of the magnet right now. This is a 360. So this ain't even the bottom of the magnet. Now how much that thing's pulling. Oop, there's something got stuck in that box. Looks like a little rock or some sort. Okay, where was Mike? Almost afraid to do this. Yeah, she gets it right out of my hand. Let's see here, let's get it swinging. And there she is pulling already. A 
not quite thick enough to pick up the box with it. Get our screws back out again. There's one screw just to show the magnetic field here of how powerful this thing is. You gotta figure this is through packing material, through a box still, and it's still that strong. Okay, let's get her open. We have the cradle's key tag, or key chain, I should say, not key tag. And we got a lot of foam in here. We have what appears to be a magnet of styrofoam. We have a purple Kratos poker chip to go along with all my other ones, which we have the yellow, the blue, and I think there's a red one in there, and a red one. Okay. We got ourselves the Kratos Poseidon. We still got to Loctite this puppy, get it all set. This is going to be my magnet of choice probably here in 2023. I will be chucking this big bad boy. I think it weighs like eight and a half pounds versus the Titans four and a half pounds or whatever. So it's almost twice as much weight. But it is a 4850 360 magnet. And it just picked up everything out of my desk drawer to it. So let's get that screw back out on the string. There we go. You can see how strong that is pulling away from it. Rips the rope right out of my hand too. Like I said, this is just the top of the magnet we're playing around with here. Okay, let's get the good old die knife out here. I'm going to actually wrap that around my finger so it doesn't yank it. Same thing. See how it wants to pull to that center? So I was playing around with this for a little bit in the box. And let's get that road spike back over here. My rope just wrapped around it. Let's get a hold of it. Yeah, she's up. Pulling it out of my hand that fast. Boy, that puppy bites. So everybody looking at getting one of these? Check out Credits Magnetics LLC. I have their link in my description. This is not for a beginner magnet here. This is definitely for somebody with experience. We're going to be chucking this thing, as I said, 2023. That road spike already put a nice little dent in the cover. And I said, you can hear everything on my desk. Suck right up to that magnet. Okay, I'm going to show you how to Loctite a 360 magnet. This is the Kratos Poseidon. This is a 4,850 pound 360 magnet. This is not a beginner's magnet. But I'm gonna use this one to show you how to lock tight. You even notice the hardware is magnetic. Stainless steel, but it's still magnetic. You need yourself some Loctite. That's what you need to start with. You have your bolt. Goes through the center hole. This is a number four Phillips bolt. That's in here. Then you want to take your washer. You want to take your lock washer. Stick it in there. Just kind of get it sitting in there. It's going to kind of hold itself there. Make sure you shake up your Loctite. I did this before I started the video. So I don't have to spend time shaking it all up. All you want to do is put a nice healthy amount on there. Goop around there nice and good. Here's your eyelet. Put your eyelet on there. 
spin her around, tighten her up. Now this is the crucial point here. Now you want to tighten that down. Problem is, if you have a normal screwdriver, you're playing around with a magnet here. <clears throat> so you try to get a magnet or a screwdriver in the middle of that, <clears throat> excuse me, hole here to get in the Phillips. You're going to be fighting it nonstop, trying to get that to go in that hole. And it's just going to be bouncing all over the place. So you want, they're pricey, they're worth the weight in gold, is get your bronze aluminum safety screwdriver. Non-magnetic, non-sparking. You can put this thing on here all day long, it will not stick to it. So now you can put that screwdriver in that hole. And then, same thing here, I got a bronze aluminum, adjustable wrench, I can put in here. And now, I can tighten that down. Whoa. That went down on the floor. Okay, let's try that again. Screwdriver. Put the bottom of that Phillips. Get yourself the crescent wrench on the other side. And I said, you just want to give it a good turn. Put this on the right side here. Kind of hard to do on a round desk or a desk and let it roll on there. But all you want to do is just tighten that down, get her nice and snug, let her sit for 24 hours. Once you have her snugged up, let that sit for 24 hours, you'll be all set. Make sure you put a nice heavy duty carry beater on here or the polymer knot. Okay, we're going to take the Kratos Poseidon along with some poker chips here and see how close we can get before it picks it up. We're about eight inches or so. So you tell me. Thanks for watching.